Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a brand new version of Mozilla Firefox rolling out version 130, which is now the latest release, which started rolling out maybe half an hour ago earlier today on the 3rd of September 2024. Now this is what I would call a major release. There's quite a lot going on with version 130. So at first to double check that we have received the update, as always we head to our main menu, help, click on about Firefox, and latest version in bold 130.0. Now first of all, before we have a look at what's new, uh, just to go through the security uh, fixes that have rolled out, because those are quite important. There are nine security fixes that have rolled out in total, and four of those fixes are addressing four high impact vulnerabilities, which is your second highest ranked after a critical vulnerability. So nine security fixes rolling out, and out of those nine, four are patching high risk and high severity and high impact vulnerabilities. Now focusing on what's new. Now I have noticed something that actually wasn't mentioned in the release notes, which could have been on a controlled rollout, but this is the first time I'm seeing it in the stable version um, in my region. I have posted on this previously when it was still in preview. And if we head to our gear icon on the new tab page, we now get wallpaper backgrounds for the new tab page. So you've got solid colors, so you can choose a solid color. You've got abstract, so there we go, you can choose an abstract. And then you've got photographs, and there we go. And I think I'm just going to leave it on that one. And if you want to reset back to default, you just click on that, and it'll pop back to the default new tab page wallpaper. And I think this is quite a nice move in the right direction. And just on a side note, though, there is no way to upload an image yet. So you can't um, upload a local image from your drive, as an example, or import one from the cloud. It only comes with these default, this default selection. But nonetheless, that is a step in the right direction. So that wasn't mentioned in the change log. Now, focusing on what's new um, that's actually officially mentioned now with the release of version 130. Now Firefox now allows translating selected text portions um, of different languages. So if we head to a foreign language website, over and above being able to translate the whole page, if I just select a portion of text and I right click and I head up to trans translate selection to English, there we go. And I think that's also a very nice move in the right direction. And you can change that from in two languages to your own personal choice and preference. So I really think the translate feature in Firefox now is starting to progress smoothly and nicely over the last couple of updates. And then over and above, um, being able to translate a selection of text, the following languages are also now supported for translate. And those are Catalan, Croatian, Czech, Danish, Indonesian, Latvian, Lithuanian, Romanian, Serbian, Slovak, and Vietnamese. So we've got a couple of extra languages now that are supported in Firefox Translate. Now moving on to something I'm quite excited to see. Firefox now offers a way to try out experimental features with a new Firefox lab page in settings. So if we head to our settings page, here we can see Firefox Labs. And basically you can give the experimental features a try without having to go to about colon config and then type in experimental flag. So these would be your main um, experiments that um, Mozilla is trying out in the browser. Now I do run the nightly version and I see that they have left one or two out from the nightly version. But nonetheless, I still think this is a nice move in the right direction. So if you want to try out experimental features, then just to show you a couple of these, if you would be interested. Now, take note, these are experimental features. So they haven't rolled out yet to stable, but Firefox Labs is available now as a feature uh, in the stable version. So the first one is basically is AR Chatbot, which we're going to look at, um, which lets you add the chatbot of your choice to the sidebar um, for quick access as you browse. So if we pop that on, you can choose your different uh, AR chatbot from the drop-down menu. And if we head to the sidebar, 
and I click on that there we go and obviously I can sign in and there's Google Gemini I can access that directly from the sidebar so if you are using AR and want to use AR in Firefox I think that's a nice move in the right direction now this next one picture in picture auto open on tab switch basically um it, it enables the pip window on active videos when switching tabs and I think this is a very nice move in the right direction so if we enable this and I head to a video and I'll just play that quickly you will see now if I'm watching a video yeah and I move to another tab it enables the picture picture window automatically and if I head back to the tab the um, the source tab playing the media it turns off picture in picture and carries on playing the video so Try that again. There we go. It enables picture in picture automatically. And if I head back, it goes straight back to the video. And I actually think that's a nice step in the right direction with that picture in picture. And then we've got, just going to mention this next one. You've got address bar. You can show results during IME composition. So you can read up on this a little bit more in depth if you are interested. And then you've got developer tools that you can enable. So if you are into developer tools and the like you can enable that now through the Firefox labs and I'm very excited to see this being moved into the stable version and then over and above that if you are using uh, Mozilla Firefox on Linux there's now over scroll animations that are now allowed as the default behavior for scrollable areas on Linux and I actually think that would make a lot of Linux users happy and then they have a bug fix sets rolled out where they fixed an issue where copy and paste context menu items intermittently were not enabled when expected so that's quite an important bug fix rolling out and then over and above that uh, we get a couple of enterprise and developer improvements and changes and add-ons that have rolled out um, which I don't think would be of um, major interest to your average home user so there we have it Firefox 130 Quite a lot going on. As mentioned, those wallpapers now available. You can translate selected text and you can now switch between picture and picture when moving between different tabs, which I actually think is a very nice move. And I wish and hope some other browsers, mainstream web browsers, also start rolling that out in due course. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.